You may think you need to be dressed like this to work on a septic system. Not today. <sighs> cool. Now that's much better. So get cozy. I keep seeing all these videos on YouTube of people poking around with a probe in the backyard or digging around with a shovel. And I always thought, why do that first? I'm gonna show you how to do it the easy way on your computer. Let's pop on over to the interwebs and enter onlinerme.com. You can go to onlinerme.com, but if it gives you the site search, let's go ahead and skip a step and go here because that's where we're gonna end up anyways. Online RME is a septic system management database. Here we are going to enter our country, state, county, as well as the street number and street name. Then click Submit Search. Once on the next page, on the top left hand side is going to be all kinds of information that you can dig through. But for what we are looking for today, we are going to click on this blue button that says View Scanned Images. On this next screen, there may be a lot of scanned images in here, and this is all really good information, but what we are looking for is drawings, and we're going to find it right away on the second page. And boom, right here is the information that we are looking for. There is a drawing of the house itself, and it measures 12 feet to the tank. You also have all of the information on the septic drain field as well, and you can go through all the other information that was shown before in all of the pages. Like I said, there's a ton of good information in here, but for the purpose of this video, we are just looking for the septic tank, but the same search can be used for lots of other things as well. For our second option behind the computer, we are gonna head over to our local county assessor and to show you that this works uh, for multiple places, I'm gonna use a totally different address and show you that you can find the information just the same. Type in whatever your county's name is and type assessor afterward. This next screen is same as before where you can go to the assessor's office, but if it gives you the opportunity to jump straight into property search, we are gonna go there because property search is what you are going to look for and where you are going to end up. So we're gonna skip a step here. Within the property search, you can search by address, parcel number, or owner name. Now, not all county assessor is the same. Definitely want your parcel number here because nearly all assessor websites will use the parcel number. But in my case, I have an address as an option, so I'm just going to enter the address. Once you are on your own address, we are gonna actually look for the septic system, which in this case, it's right in the middle, right up on top, but on your screen, you may have to look for it a little bit. Click on septic system. Next, we are going to click on the septic system number itself. Make sure not to click on the parcel number because that will just bring you back to the last page. This next page is going to give you all of your information on your septic system, including previous pumpings or previous work done. But what we are looking for here is a sketch or what they call the as-built. In this case, it is going to be under the permits section here. This screen is going to show you all of your permitting information. And while all this information, same as the last website, is great to look through for your own information, what we are looking for is a sketch or a drawing, which we are going to find on page number two, just like last time. And there you have it, another drawing of exactly where to find your septic tank. So let's say you struck out on the first two. This last tip doesn't involve a computer, but it still doesn't involve a shovel. Check it out. Step number one is find the crawl space to the house. And hopefully it'll be easily accessible, but here's a look at mine. You can see that the drain line, you're going to look for this big black ABS pipe. 
and you follow it all the way to the end of the house. You can't really see it very well, but you can try, shine a flashlight. Now where that was compared to my house is right over here. Now obviously I've already repaired this system, so it's easy to find, but you can measure the distance from the crawl space to the end of that black pipe and where it dives into the ground and it should be pretty close to a direct angle out to your tank itself and they're not going to put the tank right next to the property so you want to go a little ways out i actually had to dig around for mine for a little bit but once you hit concrete it's really easy to find there's a lot of dirt that would have to be dug out to find this thing and that is why it's really key to know where yours is. Someone's gonna charge you a couple hundred bucks to dig around and find your tank where if you know where it is, you can do it for free. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe to help me out with the YouTube algorithm.